Hey guys, today I'm showing you the perfect lip sense application. All right, here we go. I'm going to start by cleaning off my lips with a damp washcloth. Make sure they're nice and clean and dry. And then I'm going to shake my color tube really, really well for about 10 seconds before I get started. And you can see I'm also wiping all the excess off of the wand and begin applying my first of three layers. You want really thin layers and you don't want to swipe back and forth. We want to start in one corner and work to the other corner and I actually take a little bit of extra time on my first layer to make sure I line around the outside edges really, really crisp. So I'll go from one corner to the other corner on my bottom lip and then you'll see here in a second on my top lip, I actually split it into two parts and so I work from the center to the corner and the center to the other corner. The other thing to remember is it's not important to worry about evenness on this first layer. We're going to fix that in a minute. Okay, I want to make sure that layer one is nice and dry. It takes anywhere from five to ten seconds and then I'm going to start applying my second layer. Again, in the same way, not swiping back and forth, corner to corner on my bottom lip and then splitting my top lip in half from center to the right, center to the left. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that layer two is nice and dry, and then I'm gonna start on my third and final layer. Again, just being careful to not swipe back and forth, especially at this stage, you've already laid down two layers of color. You don't wanna pick up any of the color you've already laid down while it's curing. So get it on there nice and neat, and then we're gonna make sure it's fully dry. All right, let's say that you do pick up some of your color and you're ended up with a spot like this one. It's a little bit uneven and patchy. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. I'm gonna shake my tube again and I'm going to make sure that the rest of it is nice and dry and I'm going to dab color in that one location only, not swiping back and forth anywhere else, letting it dry completely before I gloss. Then I'm gonna gloss with glossy all over the place to set my color and make sure that there is no sticky residue, especially on those inside corners. If you feel any stickiness, it's because you haven't gotten gloss there. So just make sure to gloss really, really well. And as soon as you do that, you can clean off anything that touched your teeth while you were applying so that it stays off of your teeth all day. And now you're left with smudge proof lip color.